talk with uh, uh, Blake in San Diego. Hi, Blake. Hey, Dr. White. It's an honor and a privilege to talk to you. Uh, um, ever since I watched your debate with uh, Dr. Strawbridge, that has totally convinced me that I am a Reformed Baptist at heart. <laughs> okay. Um, so this is my question. So I, I go to actually a Southern Baptist church, and um, they don't embrace, you know, the social justice and all that. But uh, um, so to really not take up too much of your time, because I know you guys are on time schedule and everything. So uh, do you believe that some of the church, some of the churches that are under the umbrella of, you know, Southern Baptist Church, do you think it would be possible that some of those churches would actually leave the Southern Baptist, um, you know, uh, association because of the whole social justice thing? Or do you think uh, they are just, you know, so deceived that they're that they're going to um, just stay, uh, you know, with the SBC? I, I wanted to get your thoughts on that. Well, I would I would like to be. Uh optimistic. I'd like to think that uh, there'll be people who will stand up and take notice and uh, educate themselves and provide a, a meaningful uh, response to the influx of an unbiblical definition of justice and worldview categories that would include critical theory and intersectionality and and uh, open borders and and the destruction of, of meaningful societal norms and things like that. I, I would like to think um, that that would take place. But uh, at the same time, I see that, that certain high positions within the convention have already been taken over by individuals who clearly have no, no desire or interest in leaving. Uh, they're going to continue to use those places as mechanisms of exerting their authority. And so who would be leaving would be the congregations that do not have any desire to donate to the cooperative program when those cooperative program funds or the International Mission Board funds are going to be used to promote uh, social justice causes and, and, and the like or uh, used to promote the ERLC, if the ERLC continues to function as a social justice mechanism of the woke church. And so I would think that what they'd be losing are their conservative congregations. The problems with that then is that that only accelerates uh, the process within the SBC of liberalizing uh, the, the boards of the seminaries and hence uh, increasing the speed at which those seminaries then begin to hire uh, more and more uh, professors who are to the left and, and basically see the undoing of the conservative resurgence in a relatively short period of time and, and doing it in a way that I don't think was ever expected. I don't think that the direction of the flow, the direction of the societal energy I don't think that was really something that was in the minds of, uh, uh, of most of the conservatives. Uh, I think they didn't see this coming in the way that it's, it's entering into the, the convention. So I, I'd like to be optimistic and hope for that, but I'll, I'll be honest with you, I don't, I don't see it right now. And just listening to Dr. Greer's uh, presentation uh, and, and seeing other material from what's going on at uh, at the convention, it, it seems like wokeness uh, is the uh, uh, the flavor of the day there in uh, uh, at the SBC. So that does not bode well for the future. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Just uh, I don't have much hope for the SBC as well, and. Uh, Lord willing, by God's sovereign grace, that uh, they just get delivered from the social justice movement and go right back to the gospel. Well, you know, uh, it, it could result in, in the founding of a yet another. I mean, Baptists are good at founding new denominations. They certainly have a lot of experience in doing it. So uh, you could end up with uh, a new association of, of solid churches that would try to mirror things. I, I don't know. 
I, I, I don't know. I just know that right now uh, there seems to be a whole lot of wokeness going on. And uh, uh, mm -hmm. this is a, a fairly new development in that context. It's not a fairly new development. You, you can hear the same kind of rhetoric um, in liberal denominations that have gone down the, the wrong path uh, 20, 30 years ago. It's the same subject, same topic, same game plan all the way along. Uh, it's just now the Southern Baptist turn. So, 